As the nation continues to mourn the horrific shooting at a Texas elementary school, one advocate is in Albany this week pushing for legislation to make schools safer. You said ABC's Harrison Grubb meeting tonight with the mother who lost her child in a senseless school shooting. Using personal tragedy to push for change to keep students safe inside the classroom. The mother of a student who was killed in the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Florida in 2018 is advocating for legislation in her daughter's name. We need to continue to protect our schools. Lori Aldef is in Albany this week, hoping to get Alyssa's law passed before the legislative session ends on Thursday. If it does, schools will be equipped with at least one panic button in cases of emergencies like an active shooter. The teacher can push a button on their cell phone or a badge she wears around the neck and it's directly linked to law enforcement, so law enforcement can go in, engage, take down the threat, or triage anybody that is injured. The legislation is named after her daughter, who was one of the 17 people killed at Stoneman Douglas in 2018. Alyssa is a beautiful, vivacious, amazing girl. She was only 14 years old, played soccer, had success for life, and we miss her and love her so much. Since her loss, Aldef has been advocating for change to make kids safer in the classroom, starting Make Our Schools Safe. In the past few years, the group has gotten Alyssa's law passed in both New Jersey and Florida and fought for other protections. As the nation reels from another horrific mass shooting inside of a school, that push continues. It breaks my heart. Unfortunately, I know the pain that these families are going through. While the debate on how to address the issue goes on, she says legislation like Alyssa's law is vital for the safety of schools. The gun issue, it's so polarizing. People are can continue to fight that fight. But in the meantime, we have to be able to protect our kids when they go to school and that they come home alive. The Alyssa's law legislation is in committee in both the Senate and the Assembly. In terms of the assembly version of the bill, local assemblywoman Mary Beth Walsh is one of the sponsors of the legislation. Reporting outside the Capitol, Harrison Grubb, News 10, ABC.